Hello, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and the subject of today's video is jetting indoor drain lines, but specifically making use of a large jetter that's outside the building. Now, the trouble is we want to control the flow of that jetter. We want to start and stop the jetting remotely. Really, a lot of you guys ask me, hey, can I do this with one-man operation? And the answer is yes. Now, of course, now on a different front, we can use a small electric power jetter inside a building. It's not going to create any exhaust fumes. But the trouble with that is they just have so little power. You know, a horse and a half, maybe two horsepower. It's nice for doing lavatory drains, something like this. But if we've got heavy grease or roots or something scale that we need to attack with our large jetter, we want to bring that power indoors and we want to control the flow on up. All right, we're all set up here with our hose coming in through a window from our jetter outdoors. This particular hose is a half inch jet hose and we're doing what I call direct jetting. The hose right off the jetter is going right into our drain. And this would be typical half inch hose for like a 15 to 18 gallon a minute uh, trailer jetter or van mounted jetter. Um, a great way to control this is with a wireless remote control. So what this is, this is a simple little, fits in the palm of your hand. I can fire up the jetter's engine. I can kill the jetter's engine. But more importantly is I can control the jetting. So my engine's running. I can push a button and it pressures up. I can start jetting the line. I can, oh, I think I better put my root cutter on. I can kill it, pull the hose out, put my root cutter on or my grease head or whatever I want to change to, put it back in, hit the button, pressure up and jetting again. If my customer interrupts me, I need to talk to him. I can just hit kill, shut the whole machine down. I've got full wireless remote control. The important, most important thing though with the wireless remote is you get a good one that does not have connectivity problems. What I mean is, the bug on wireless remotes for many years was you get too many walls involved, too much interference, and they just don't work. Um, we've done a lot of research on our Jetters Northwest wireless remote control, testing it from three blocks away, and certainly a lot farther than, you know, a long jet hose might be six, 700 feet. That'd be about as far away as you could get from your jetter. And you wanna make sure that your wireless remote control has the connectivity to control that jetter on and off and control that jetting on and off. Another means of remote flow controlling your jetter is just simply mechanically with a high pressure valve. This is an example of a high pressure ball valve. Um, you can also use a high pressure foot control valve, which we'll get to, or even a high pressure hand trigger. So the process here would be back out at the machine before we fire up, we would connect the valve to the end of the main jetting hose and pressure it up to hold pressure up against this valve. And now at that point, we can connect to a hose reel or another kind of secondary hose to go ahead and do our jetting. So here I, again, I peel off the hose here. And this some other advantage to this. Here I got 200 more feet of hose that I can use to get deeper into the building. I might be at the very end of my range of my main jet hose, and now I've got more hose to work with. I also have the ability to drop down to a smaller hose to do the smaller lines. Now, one caveat to this is to do this valve control type of jetting, your jetter is gonna to need to be fitted already with a high pressure unloader valve or bypass valve. What this does is when I close this valve back there at the machine, your unloader valve is gonna put the machine into a recirculation mode. And if you have a jetter that doesn't have one of these, maybe it has safety burst discs, and you that have these probably know what I'm talking about because they blow. Um, you're not gonna be able to do a valve controlled setup because you're just gonna blow your burst disc. The good news is, is you can usually get these retrofitted onto your jetter. So here again, I just open the valve, I'm jetting, close the valve, I'm not jetting. And another little benefit to this is I could, with this valve closed, disconnect from this reel and I could jump to a smaller reel, connect up, put it in the line, and start jetting again. Okay, I've taken the ball valve off of the portable hose reel via the quick coupler, and now we're going to talk about a foot control valve. So I'll pull the valve out of the system. I'm using a snap coupler here. Again, this is our hose from our outdoor jetter. I'll just snap couple it into the foot control, and now I could pressure up. And now just with my foot, I'm jetting, not jetting, jetting, not jetting. 
So this has some advantage, disadvantage. Great advantage is obviously right off the bat is I got my hands free. I can work the jetting hose and I don't have to reach over and turn any valves for flow control. I don't even have to grab my wireless remote. I can just step on it, now I'm jetting. Uh, the disadvantage, just to bear in mind, is that if I'm not standing on it, I'm not jetting. This is different than your cable machine where you might pump the quit switch and you're running. This is a valve and it's spring loaded. So when I step off, jetting is off. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there like using this for basically a big pulse. Your heart jetting, your hose is kind of hung up on an elbow or something like that. You give it a little and it pops around the elbow. So there can be some advantages to having a foot control valve. Okay, the last method of jetting flow control indoors that we're gonna talk about is the hand trigger. And this is less known. Of course, these are all over the pressure washer industry for pressure washing. But for jetting, this can be a handy tool. Now, we don't need the extension wand or the wash nozzle, so we're just going to set that aside. And now we have a spring-loaded flow control valve. So I'm going to take my hose again from my jetting machine that's outdoors, snap couple it in. Now I can pressure it up. And it's important to remember that this valve, this trigger, has to be rated for the flow and pressure that you're going to operate. This particular one is 12 gallons a minute maximum and handles up to 5,000 PSI. We even have hand triggers here that can handle 30 gallons a minute and 4,000 PSI do high flow. But for practical purposes, this hand trigger is what we want to talk about because it's especially handy for going into a mini hose. This is our stainless steel, we call a trap jetting hose, 3 16 and it's connected to an eighth inch nozzle. And this of course is real common for like, this is a lavatory line, um, floor drains. And it's nice to have this trigger control. Start jetting, stop jetting, start jetting, stop jetting. So even if I'm tucked up underneath a basin and I'm reaching underneath the sink, I can really simply, I can even have it laying on the ground and jetting, not jetting. Um, so that might be a little easier than trying to turn a ball valve or step on a foot valve. And also, the other benefit is when I've closed off, I can pull out and go jet another line. So if you had a number of urinals in a row that you're trying to jet, you have a number of floor drains, this hand trigger control might make it quick and smooth for you to jump from one line to the next. So hopefully these have given you some different ideas to be more productive when you're indoors doing those indoor drain lines and indoor sewer access lines. Um, whether it's a hand trigger, or a ball valve for flow control, or the good old foot control valve. <coughs> Different ways for you to mechanically control your flow. And of course, don't forget about the wireless remote control. If you haven't bought a jetter yet, you might really want to consider this for the time saving and that it can do you as you're working indoors. Again, my name is Steve Jones, the company is Jetters Northwest. You can see our website, jettersnorthwest.com, or there'll be more videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching. Have a super day.